Today, I'm going to show you how you can set up your Wix repeaters to save on time with replica designs, layouts, and patterns, but with different content in them. What's up you guys, thanks for tuning in with your boy Nino and I got a tutorial for you guys today on how you can set up your Wix repeaters in the Wix editor. So let's get started. All right, so what you first want to do is you want to go ahead over to your add button here and you wanna go down to list and grids. Okay, once you hit list and grids, you can actually choose from all of these repeaters here that uh, are really beautiful I mean I really do like all of these designs but uh, go ahead and pick out one that you really would like to have and then you can actually drag it out onto the Wix editor so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna just drag that right on out all right and now I'm just going to recenter it uh, to my page okay now here we are, okay. So all of the items in the repeater have the same design. Okay, you can customize the individual elements inside each item uh, or each repeater, such as like the text or the images, but the designs will always stay the same. So basically it shows it up here. So we can actually get fancy with this right now. Uh, but what I want to go over is the key elements to make this repeater function as well as uh, function for your site. Okay, so here you can actually manage your items at a global level. So if you have many items on this repeater and you don't feel like going through each and every one of them, you can actually go here and uh, actually view your items. You can actually duplicate these items here if you have duplicate information that you want to show. Uh, as well as you can actually delete them. So you can actually go straight to that exact item on this uh, item list uh, that you have here for your manage items and you can actually duplicate the item or you can show it as dynamic data, which I'll get into uh, shortly, but this is how you manage your items. Now, if you want the layout to be a different layout, which is like you want these to always line up to the left, no matter what your window looks like. So if your window is closed down, this these elements will always show up on the left align. And then same goes for centered, uh, same goes for right align, and then it justifies itself if you wanna choose this justify. Now you can actually change the space in between these items as well. And that's basically what the layouts are all about. Now you can actually add some animation here. I actually went into uh, animations in one of my tutorials, so definitely go check it out. But uh, if you want to check it out, it will be linked up in the right hand corner. But you can actually apply different animations that are put onto the whole repeater actually. And uh, yeah, and that's basically it. Now you can actually use this stretch tool to actually stretch it to the full width uh, of the page. That means that whatever the page is uh, is being like condensed or if it is not being condensed, it will still align up just like this, okay? And it won't actually mess up the flow of your website, whether someone has your, uh, your browser window minimized or if it's actually large like this. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that that's not stretched full to width. And then you have your connect to data. Now this is actually something that I'm gonna go into in future tutorials, but basically what you can do here is you can connect one of your data sets to here in order to uh, produce multiple items in the same design layout uh, that you have it here, pattern, any type of layout pattern or design that you have here in your repeater, you can actually add elements from your database and that is how you connect it to your repeater. So you just have to click here to connect data and then actually choose what uh, data set you want to be connected to this repeater. But like I said, in future tutorials, I will definitely go into that. So stay tuned. All right guys, so that is basically it about how to manage your repeaters. Now, if you want to go inside each repeater 
as you can see these are different uh text and images here but they're all in the same design layout so if you want to add any type of item or even remove any type of item all you have to go to is add here and then actually choose what item that you want to uh put onto your um like what item you want to put into your repeater so maybe i want to add some like music items to my repeater so what i'll do here is i will go ahead and click here and drag this onto my repeater item okay and then boom it all shows up for this repeater item and it actually looks nice it actually goes with the flow of things so i'm just going to go ahead add this little uh feature okay so now i just went all super sand on me okay now i can't even change it okay well you get the gist so we can actually put this up in the left hand corner actually just to show it like this i don't i don't know what i'm trying to do here uh i'm not trying to make a design right now so yeah it's just basically that you can actually attach many items to this repeater uh and you can actually change the size of each repeater item uh and this will actually go in more depth like so if you if you want to actually change the width of it it will change the width of all of them okay and then if you want to bring it back to the same size as you can see it just uh based upon that rule that we have set in here for the repeater items which is 30 pixels apart so now what i can do here is since i clicked on the repeater item now i can actually change the background of each individual repeater I can actually manage the items just like I did before and also I can actually change the design of this repeater so I'm gonna actually go into future tutorials about boxes but the design tab right here it gives you the same type of design feel as you would for a box okay so if you're actually putting a box on here you can actually change the border you can actually change the corners and actually apply shadow to this repeater item okay so now what you can do here is you can go into border and then you can actually set that width if you want uh, to about 10 or if you want you can just bring it down to zero like I had it before uh, you can actually change the corners of these here just to give it a nice little curvature uh, as well as you can actually show a shadow which I already have one on there Wix provided that for me so that is basically the gist of a repeater now if you want to be more like cool and artsy with it definitely stay tuned for one of my tutorials on how to connect to the data all right that actually broadens the the way that you can actually use this uh effectively with a database collection okay now if you want to add an element uh to just like one item then you need to use corvid by wix uh and that i will go more into detail in future tutorials but this is a beginner's level tutorial so i'm just giving you the basic uh things that you need to know about repeaters and if you add a button to an item uh, and then you need to set the link for each button on each item individually then you actually should go in here uh, and actually click link and you know put it towards that actual site now if you do that you will actually see that if i go to my other button here it does not carry over that link so that means that each individual item will actually have its individual link as you set it to that now if you want to add more items to your repeater all you have to do is like i said go up to manage items and then all you have to do is add one which you add it by duplicating one of the uh other ones here and then that's how you can actually use the repeater without actually connecting a database to your repeater and so all you have to do is go in here you can actually change the images here and it will actually not change it uh, to each and every one of them but it will only just change it to this individual image so you can go down here to uh, media from Wix or even go to unsplash these are the free versions for 
uh, that Wix has to offer for you guys. And so you could just go here, uh, pick one that really suits you. I'm just gonna pick this random one. All right, and then boom. As you can see, the repeater actually keeps that single item, uh, that picture. Now, if you go into a dynamic data set, uh, which I will actually talk about in the future also, then all of these will be different items as well that are inside that data collection. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Definitely give it a shot. And if you have any questions, drop it below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. All right, ciao.